So today we will start with uh, the topic that is projection of points. In this figure, you can see a point A. The point A is in first octant. It lies above horizontal plane and also it lies in front of vertical plane. So in this figure, you can clearly see the plane that is perpendicular to both vertical plane and horizontal plane that is profile plane and it is represented by PP. So when I watch it from the front, I will get its projection on the vertical plane here. You can also see a, a, a light shadow of this point because if I put a torch, if I hold a torch at the place of this arrow, I will get a shadow of this point on vertical plane. So it will, the projection of the point will also lie on the same place where its shadow is. So now projection of point will always be a point clear. So if I'm having a 2D body or three dimensional body or object, its projection will depend upon its orientation, but a point will the projection of a point will always be a point. So its front view will be visible on the vertical plane and it is represented by small alphabet that is a dash. Clear. So now when I watch this point from the top side, I will get the top view of this point or the projection of the point A on horizontal plane. So this will be represented as point A. Always remember that the projections are represented by small alphabets. And if the point name is, let the point name be, is B, then its front view will be uh, B dash and top view will be B. So it, in this case, we have capital A. So I'm representing here the top view as A. So now on this figure, if I watch the object from left hand side, its projection will be on the profile plane. So I will get a point that is projection of point A and it is represented by A double dash. So let me share the animation of this. Here you can see a point A. When I watch it from the top, I will get this, its projection. And when I watch it from the front, I get A dash and similarly A double dash. So here you get A dash in the front view, A on the top view and A double dash on the profile plane that is left side view. So always remember that the height of the height of the, the point from horizontal plane will give me the distance of this projection that is a dash from the reference line. So these will be same. So if it is, if the point is 10 mm above horizontal plane, so its projection a dash will be 10 mm above the reference line. That is the intersection of vertical plane and horizontal plane. And if the point is 5 mm in front of vertical plane, then its top view will be 5 mm from the intersection line that is the intersection of vertical plane and horizontal plane. And if it is 15 mm 
on the left of profile plane so the distance of front view will be 15 mm from the intersection line of vertical plane and profile plane so this will also the left side view will also be at 5 mm distance from the line of intersection of vertical plane and profile plane and its height will also be same that is given by 10 units from the line of intersection of profile uh, profile plane and vertical plane let me again share a uh, animation that will show how the projectors are developed in the projection projectors means projector means when i am having a point a so it's a line that is straight perpendicular line with the reference line is called projector so these are projectors so how they are developed i will show you in the animation so here point a is available in the first co octant so when we get the when we get the top view you can see the path followed by the path followed by the point the its projection on horizontal plane so it is shown by a white line that will represent the that will be the projector line so it is assist us to draw the projections of the point on a two dimension sheet so i am again playing it so in this way if i complete the standard rotation that is meant to be shown on the two dimension drawing if i show the standard rotation of the planes also so concentrate again on the animation this is how we get the whole three dimension setup on the two dimensional sheet after rotation so i'm playing it again so you know the standard rotation of horizontal plane is downward in the first octant and profile plane to the left so now here you can see that these white lines are called projectors and these particular points represented by small alphabets are called projections of the point a so you can see that the projection that is the front view and the top view will always remain for a point will always remain in a straight line similarly the side view and the front view for this particular case will be in same line and this will be at the angle of 45 degree when you open it you will get this angle as 45 degree so here i want to take another example of point b that is 50 mm above horizontal plane and 20 mm in front of vertical plane so this explains that it is in first quadrant so when i watch it in the three dimensional setup this is my horizontal plane this is vertical plane and this point is lying here that is 
फिफ्टी एम एम अब हॉरिजेंटल प्लेन एंड ट्वेंटी एम एम इन फ्रंट ऑफ वर्टिकल प्लेन सो आई विल गेट द पॉइंट प्रोजेक्शन ऑफ पॉइंट बी दैट इज बी डैश सॉरी सो आई विल गेट द टॉप व्यू ऑफ द पॉइंट बी ऑन द हॉरिजेंटल प्लेन एंड आई विल रिप्रेजेंट इट by the point b and the front view that will be in line of this as b dash so when i do the standard rotation of horizontal plane and after that when i draw its projections i will get xy that is the reference line this one xy below this i will get the point b at a distance 20 that is point b and in the straight line above this will be its front view that will be at the distance 50 mm from xy line so i will get b dash here so in this way i get the projections of point b so now if the point is in third quadrant or i can say third octant so if i am using the profile planes vertical plane and horizontal plane only then i use the term quadrant when i also include the profile plane then i use the term octant so in this particular figure the point is behind vertical plane and below horizontal plane okay so now i am again showing you the animation to explain or to get the projections of this point in this figure you can see the reference planes horizontal plane vertical plane and profile plane and also all the octants are available so this is my first octant second octant third octant and fourth octant similarly this one will be the fifth sixth will be on the back side of this and eighth will be on this side so let me play this so we are going to the third octant so here the po point is the point b is here so here you can see the directions the directions are so please note the directions of the view direction of side for top view direction of side for front view they will remain unchanged that means either we keep our object in the first first octant or in any octant the directions of the view will remain same so that means in between the point and the sight point of sight vertical plane is present so similarly when we watch from the top from the point of sight that is on the top the and the object horizontal plane is lying in between so let's go to the third octant so these are the projections so these are the standard 
rotation now you can see that in this particular case horizontal plane after rotation goes above the vertical plane above x y line and vertical plane remains below the x y line this is all due to the standard rotation of the principal planes So now in this particular case, horizontal planes rotates upward because we know that from the front side, the horizontal plane rotates downward. We consider this as a axis of rotation. So from the back, it, it is rotated upwards. So similarly, the profile plane from the back, it rotates inwards and from the front it it is rotated to open up so from the back it will close up so this is what we get horizontal plane that means the top view the top view is above we generally represented by tv top view is above the xy line and the front view, front view is given by B dash. It is below X, Y line. And this will be in line, in the line of the top view. So in line of the top view, the front view that is B dash will be the B double dash. B double dash will be the side view left side left side view so in this way i get the projections of point as point b that is the top view in line of it will be the point or the projection B dash that is the front view and on the same level will we get B double dash. Okay, so now thing is here the vertical plane and profile plane overlapped each other. Clear? So in this way, you have to first imagine the point in a particular octant. Then you have to think about it. Think that, think yourself at the point of sight and then imagine its projection. Try to locate its projection on the principal planes. Then do the standard rotations of the principal planes and then draw the projections of the particular point on the two dimensional sheet. So I hope you understand this and you will be able to draw the projection of points by keeping the point in other octants also.